Squalene oil is naturally occurring and is actually produced by humans. Yes, it is found in our sebum oil, even though it kind of goes down as we get older, which is unfortunate. And that sebum oil is the oil that makes your head hair greasy. And for my facial fur friends out there that we wish we had more of on our beard. Now you're gonna see this name in different beard and cosmetic products, but there is one letter difference, right? Towards the end, instead of an E, you have an A. Now it's the same thing, but it's a more stable version and it is often from plant sources, and we're gonna get into all of that. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys where it comes from, the history of squalene oil, the benefits, and if I recommend it in your beard and cosmetic products. Now, this is not gonna be the most exciting, there's no crazy edits and explosions, but it's information, I love this stuff, I nerd out on the ingredients, ingredients, I nerd out on products, and if you're watching this right now, I have a feeling that either you were searching for this or you enjoy this content as well. If that's the case, please hit a thumbs up to show that you like it, and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I have a feeling, once again, if you're watching this, this channel is going to be right up your alley. The ingredient squalene oil with an E was discovered in 1906 in Japan by a doctor that specialized in oils and fats. Now he found this oil in the liver of sharks. Yes, sharks. Interesting little side bit here. We get the name squalene oil from the genus of sharks, the scientific name. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, this oil really closely mimics and matches the sebum oil that we naturally produce. So of course the cosmetic industry went crazy. Female products, male products, everybody had to have this ingredient in their products and people were loving it. Well, that lasted for a little while until we insert the animal rights movement and the concerns over the overfishing and this, just the ethics of fishing sharks and that kind of went away. Well, now into the 1950s, we get the introduction of the emollient squalene with an A. Now, here are the two main differences between the E and A product. The A is the one we see currently. Number one is it is now normally plant-based or plant-sourced. You're going to find this coming from most commonly things like olive oil, wheat germ oil, sugar cane, and many other things that they're still working on till this day. And the second difference is it's a more stable ingredient. How do they do that? Pretty much they mix it with hydrogen. Now there's a whole lot more science to it than that, but that's pretty much the easiest way to explain it. Now to this day, it is really produced throughout the world. There's not a real Goliath or somebody country that is dominating this. But when we look at the landscape, we see countries like France, New Zealand, Japan, and the United States that are leading the way in squalene production from the plant-based source with the hydrogen mix still to this day in 2021. Squalene oil is stable to oxidation. Now this is huge and fantastic. Pretty much what that means is it is one of the best team player ingredients in the world. It makes everything better in that bottle of cosmetics, whether it's beard oil, beard butter, whatever else that's out there. It is gonna make the shelf life last longer and it's gonna make sure the scent does not dissipate or change quicker. Those are huge. Those are things that we really, really look for, especially if you're trying to get into stores and be shelf stable, massive. Another thing is that it is light and non-greasy and has a great way to penetrate into the skin with some fantastic anti-inflammation properties. Now, if you don't know why that is good for skin care and hair care, essentially is your skin gets stressed from actual stress in your life, from things on the outside, all sorts of things can cause stress to your pores where the skin is meeting the hair. And that deep penetration, that anti-inflammation just, just relaxes the skin a little bit. And what that does is we are constantly trying to get nutrients to where they need to be the most. And if you have stress, if there is inflammation, it's like going through an obstacle course to get to where it needs to go. That anti-inflammation just just eases it and allows all those nutrients right where they need to the fastest. So that is awesome. Now, probably my favorite aspect about squalene oil is on the comedogenic scale, it has a rating of zero to one. 
Now, what that means is it is highly unlikely to clog anyone's pores. This does not matter if you have sensitive skin, greasy skin, dry skin, doesn't matter your culture, your race, your ethnicity, none of that. You are likely not going to have any problems with this oil. That is huge. And above all, to kind of summarize the benefits of squalene oil, it is the closest, it is the number one mimic of our actual sebum oil, the oil that we produce naturally that we are trying to replace, right? A beard this length gets dry, gets brittle because sebum oil cannot take care of the skin and go all the way down the hair. So what we need to do is we need, as that sebum oil is getting drawn away from my face down the hair, we need to replace it. We need to get some oil into the skin and all throughout the hair. Same for your skin out there, ladies. Same for your head hair if you have dry hair. And whatever you may be using this for, this is a wonderful replacement for that. To conclude, I'd like to let you know if I recommend this ingredient in the products that you're putting on your face, your hair, and your skin. This one gets a little bit more difficult right now. Usually it's pretty simple. Check, check, check. Yes, I recommend this. Whew, this is where that extra research comes in. Companies, please really look into and really research your supplier of squalene oil if you're using it or thinking of using it. This is the most complicated ingredient to source I have ever seen and let me explain why. You need to first think about the extraction method, right? Usually it's pretty simple. We want cold pressed, A, we're good to go. Well, with squalene oil, it is more common to be chemically extracted with things like hexane. I do not recommend hexane. The more I learn, the more I use, I really try to avoid that. The most common result of using hexane as an extraction method, regardless of all the health concerns that you guys can look up out there, a lot of guys get like a crunchy type feeling on their beard. It feels almost like there was hairspray left over. Well, squalene is predominantly extracted with hexane. Ugh. Now, not all of it. There are squalene oil suppliers that do use cold pressed methods. Please look into that. Now, another thing that you have to look into is, is it deodorized or not? Pretty much what that means is they are removing aspects of that oil so it doesn't have that natural smell to it. Now, when you do this, you're losing some of the beneficial properties for your hair and skin, but it's easier to work with when you're talking about terms of scents and making it smell pleasant but you also want to look at how are they deodorizing that? What is the method they're using for that? Okay, so extraction, deodorizing, and then the last one, which again, we never have to think about with other ingredients. When you look at an ingredient like grapeseed oil, we know where it comes from. The last thing is the source. When you see squalene oil, it can come from a multitude of places. Literally over a hundred different sources we have to this day that can make squalene oil. Now, not all of them are good. Olive oil is my favorite. That is number one. I also like wheat germ oil. I also like sugar cane. I also like several others that are out there. The worst is soybean oil, which again, unfortunately, is now the most common source uh, in the world for squalene oil. Olive oil is the most that I think we see in the US. It's the most that we see in quality beard products, but in the world, soybean oil is the number one producer. So if you're looking for a deal, you're trying to find the cheapest supplier of that squalene oil, it's probably too good to be true, and it's probably soybean oil. You get what you pay for, especially with squalene oil, and if you missed my soybean oil video and you're wondering what's so bad about soybean oil, it's just cheap. It doesn't add the same kind of benefits that olive oil does, that the squalene from other sources does. It's just a filler. It's just to put a squalene on paper. I do not recommend that. So please look into all of those aspects. If a supplier cannot give you that information, next, move on to the next one. They should be able to tell you exactly how it was extracted. They should be able to tell you if it's deodorized or not, and they should be able to tell you the exact source from that squalene oil. Very important. With this ingredient, there are great benefits, but there are also great responsibilities by the company. Just something to consider there. So, recommendation, yes. If you are using the best of the best and you know what you're doing with this ingredient, it's one of the best out there. It is so good for our beards. It is so good for that beard oil bottle. Highly recommend if you're doing it right. It can cost a little bit more and it can take a little bit more of time and research. Now, 
companies that use this. I scoured everything that I have. I currently only have one bottle of company that I'm aware of that has squalene oil. And then I have another that's in the mail right now. And we'll go over those. And of course, if you guys know any companies, drop them down below in the comments. I always miss some. I always forget some. And there's just some I just straight up didn't know about. So the first one that I'm going to go over is the company known as Chesapeake Beard Company. Now, they use squalene oil, but I'm going to drop a little tidbit if you're watching this in live time. In the future, it may not matter as much, but drop this in the, in the live time here, a little truth bomb on you guys. Chesapeake is going away at the end of 2021. This will no longer be a company, but I don't even know if this has been announced yet. The owner, his name is Gary, he is starting a new company. It is a beard care company whole new carrier blend, whole new theme. It's something that really has his heart. I'm not gonna give you any more details than that. I would say stay tuned to this channel. I would say stay tuned for live stream launches, maybe videos, who knows? And squalene oil will be in that new company. It'll be one of the ingredients that carries over in this totally new carrier blend. So boom, a little bit of breaking news for you beardos out there. Second company that I know uses this is in the mail right now. By the time you guys watch this video, I will likely have had it for a week or two. If you know, if you don't know, I film ahead of time, edit, upload, schedule, make sure it's all ready. And that company is Captain Stash. I will have a review coming in the subsequent probably three to four weeks after I'm filming this. Uh, no, actually, it'll be like five to six weeks after filming it. Three to four weeks after you see the video. Well, Captain Stash has it. Outside of that, I don't know any other companies. Please drop down in the comments who is using squalene oil. And then also, what is your experience? Have you found, oh, I've tried this company, I've tried that company, I love it, my beard loves it. Well, maybe the common denominator is squalene oil. So, any other questions? Is there something that I did not cover? Something that I need to clarify and dig into deeper? And also, do you have anything extra to add? Are you somebody that is a scientist that works with squalene oil on a daily basis? And you're like, hey, great info, but I would like to add this in. Please drop it down below. That's so valuable and I really do appreciate it. So one more time, guys, Dancy Bearded, if you made it all the way through and you have not subscribed, please do that. I know you will love this channel. I promise and I will value and appreciate your subscription and your future comments. Stay bearded and stay positive.